Hello everyone and once again welcome to SCAT Entertainment TV. So today I'll be showing you how to produce liquid soap at home. So all you have to do is sit and watch this video and follow every step I take. Remember I said follow every step I will take in this video because one thing about liquid soap is that if you miss any step or you put any chemical before another chemical, you might end up producing something that is not liquid soap. So just watch this video and diligently follow every step I take if you intend to produce liquid soap at home or you want to learn how to produce liquid soap at home. So watch this video and if you are producing your own and following my method, Make sure you follow every step I'm taking. Now, if you observe in this video, I have been showing you the names of each chemicals that I'll be using to produce this liquid soap. And now I'm producing 20 liters of liquid soap. Now I want to dissolve most of my chemicals. Like I said before, most of my chemicals will be dissolved. Not all of them, most of them will be dissolved. The like majority of my chemicals will be dissolved. So just watch the ones I will be dissolving for this video. The water used for dissolving them does not have a specific measurement, but you can just use like two cups of water or three cups. It doesn't really have a specific measurement.
So now during the production of liquid soap, the last chemical that must be dissolved is called nitrosol. Don't forget, dissolve nitrosol last and once you pour water into your nitrosol, don't stop stirring. Continue stirring and adding each of your chemicals accordingly to the way I'm adding mine. But don't stop stirring. The moment you stop stirring, when you dissolve nitrosol, it will form lumps in your liquid soap. And lumps is not something you want to appear in your liquid soap. You, nobody wants lump appearing in his or her liquid soap. So once you pour water into your nitrosol, you have observed I poured water into my own nitrosol there and I'm stirring. Just watch what I'm doing. I will keep on staring and staring and staring to you. I add my soda ash, then I'll now add my STPP, then I'll add my sulfonic acid, then I'll keep on staring. Immediately when you add nitrosol and you, you pour water into it, don't stop staring. Continue staring. Continue staring. Continue staring. Don't leave it for like one minute and then check something and come back. By the time you come back, you will see lumps in your liquid soap. So it's, you continue staring and staring and staring. Then when it gets to the time for you to now add your soda ash, you can now reduce the staring. But once you add water, you must continue staring. If not, it will produce lumps.
So I've added all the necessary ingredients and chemicals together. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to leave it for like 24 hours for all this foam to disappear. Then my liquid soap will now appear, my green soap will appear, my green liquid soap will appear. So I'll cover it and leave it for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you realize that everything will be normal.